Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Dustin from Laptop Factory. So congratulations nga pala kina Shine, kina Erica, pati kay Herlu. So sila yung nanalo ng Acer bedside table. If you're watching this video, please message us on Viber para mapadala namin tong mga giveaways na to. You don't need to pay anything, no shipping fee involved, we just need your details. This is only valid until 30 days from the day that the video was published. So kung hindi mo yukiklaim to within 30 days, I'm sorry, mabavoid yung giveaway mo. It's also same with the other giveaways. So guys, marami. Maraming maraming salamat dahil 30% na yung nakasubscribe sa amin and 70% na lang yung hindi. Guys, malapit na kami magbigay ng laptop. As we promised, pagdating namin sa 50,000 subscribers, magbibigay kami ng laptop. Isipin nyo yung 70% na yun, hindi kayo mananalo. Ang mananalo lang yung 30%. Sayang naman. So, mas lalong magiging sad. That is why, please do like and subscribe to our page and hit that notification bell. Para sa ba notification bell na yan? Malay nyo kayo nanalo ng laptop eh hindi kayo na notified. Sayang naman. So ngayon, magbibigay kami ng wireless mouse, pati wireless keyboard. Akin na. Oh! <laughs> okay. So ito ang bibigay namin at the end of this video. So hindi lang isa, tatlo ang bibigay namin. So stay tuned. Baka kayo yung manalo netong wireless mouse, pati wireless keyboard. So tabi na natin to and then let's proceed to our topic. So guys, as you noticed, this month or this past two months, medyo nag-a-announce na si Microsoft na mag upgrade to Windows 11. Of course, some of us, miniisip natin, is it worth it na mag upgrade to Windows 11? Is it risky? Baka medyo buggy pa ang Windows 11? So this is our topic for today. Is it advisable to upgrade to Windows 11? So here on the left side, I got here an MSI which is running a Windows 10. On the right side, which is a Lenovo, which is running a Windows 11. So we're gonna do some comparison between the two. Kani pinakaiba ng Windows 10 pati ng Windows 11. So Microsoft actually announced the Windows 11 on June this year. They were telling that they will be launching the Windows 11 and the feature will be like this. Now on October 5, that was the general release of Windows 11. It's actually been one month na na lumilipas. We're actually vlogging this video on November 6. May mga customers actually na nakapag Windows 11 na but not most of the customers because some of the customers are skeptic on upgrading to Windows 11. Of course, just like on their other predecessors, nagkaroon kasi mga bug dati ang mga operating systems katulad ng Windows Vista, Windows 8. So that is why there are some customers that they don't jump to a higher operating system. They stick on Windows XP or on Windows 7. And now customers are still sticking on Windows 10 rather than going to a Windows 11. That is why we shoot this video just to tell you, is it safe to upgrade to Windows 11 now? So please stay tuned and watch the video until the end if this will gonna help you or not. So this two laptop hasn't been set up yet. Basically, this is also the first time that I'm gonna use a Windows 11. We're just gonna check my first impression on Windows 11 and then the difference about this two. So let's start with the setup. On the first setup of a Windows 11 and a Windows 10 laptop, dito, may kita nyo pa lang yung theme ng Windows 11. It's actually color white gray with the accent of blue. Here, on the Windows 10, it is black, blue, with an accent of white. The first step, yan yung country or yung region. Dito napansin ko sa Windows 11, parang ginaya niya yung Macintosh na operating system pag nagi startup. Kasi may pagkaganito yung color ng mga Mac. Eh. So here in the Windows 11, ang pinaka first question here is the country or the region. While on the Windows 10 is the language. Let's set these two things up. Alright, on the next page, of course, the Windows 10 is asking for a region. And by the way, guys, bakit ko pinapakita sa inyo tong mga setup page na to? Because every time that you're gonna purchase on Laptop Factory, it's fresh in the box, it's actually new. Yun talaga yung unang yung may encounter sa laptop. There will be a setup page. So the next page on here on the Windows 10 was the region, while here on the Windows 11 is the keyboard settings. There is a page here in the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 that you need to connect it through the internet. On the Windows 10, there's an option that you don't need to connect it through the internet. However, here on the Windows 11, you are actually required to connect it through the internet. Kaya if you're gonna set this up, if you're setting up a Windows 11, ensure that you have an internet. 
So that is the difference on Windows 10 and Windows 11 setup. Aside from the theme of the color, um, Windows 11 really requires you to have an internet connection. Okay, so this is the loading screen of the Windows 10 and the Windows 11. And then the difference on this two that this Windows 11 is really asking you to log in your credentials. Like you need to sign in for your Microsoft account, not like in Windows 10 that it does not ask me to sign into anything. It's just asking me to put a username. I didn't even put a password on Windows. Windows 10. But here on the Windows 11, I'm still in the process of signing this up. By the way, this is a Microsoft account. You can actually use Gmail. I log in using my Gmail. And it's asking you to create a PIN, by the way, here in Windows 11. Okay, so hindi pa yung PIN na 1234. So, the difference din nila, you can actually set up a PIN here in Windows 10. But here on the Windows 11, it is required to set up a PIN. So, the difference about Windows 10 and Windows 11, and daming sine set up sa Windows 11. Hindi ka sa Windows 10 or probably kasi sanay na ako mag-setup ng Windows 10 na kaya ko i-skip lahat. Dito sa Windows 10, hindi mo may skip lahat. You need to sign up. And the difference on this one, actually Windows 11 has more animation on its setup. So may mga something circling and then something jumping on the icons. And here on the Windows 11, kasi sa Windows 10 lang, ganito na umiiba-iba yung color. But this one is, there's something like glowing inside it like a PS or yung PS2 dati. Okay, so we're done with the setup. Now, let's talk about its desktop. First of all, the window or the start menu of the Windows 10 as we all know is on the bottom left corner. And if you click on the Windows logo here, it also will appear on the Windows left corner. While here on the Windows 11, nasa gitna or nasa bottom center na yung Windows logo. Wala siya sa bottom left side. If you click on the Windows icon, so ganun. Sa gitna rin, magpa-pop up. Not like on the Windows 10, nasa gilid. The power button of the Windows 11 here is on this side. And then dito sa Windows 11, nandito pa rin sa gilid, as we all know. Now, the start menu on this one. As I know that the start menu of the Windows 11 is hindi mo pwedeng galawin. Not like on the Windows 10, pwedeng kahit sa ang side. This one, there is no settings here that you can move the taskbar. And by the way, the taskbar of the Windows 11 is actually much taller compared to Windows 10. Now, let's try to open some common applications of this two operating system. Let's start with a notepad. Now, I just opened a notepad. There's actually no difference. It's just that the corners of this application. As I notice, every time that you're gonna open an application in Windows 11, medyo may pagka-curve na yung doon sa mga edges niya. Hindi ka tulad dito sa Windows 10. It's not just in the notepad. If you're gonna go to a settings or control panel or any applications on the Windows 11, may curve yung mga edges nila. Hindi ka tulad sa Windows 10 na talagang medyo patusok na ganun. Calculator is actually the same then. Camera is also the same. It's no difference at all. It's just that main lang may mga curve edges na to. Let's check Windows Edge. Microsoft Edge kung sa pwede mag-download ng Google Chrome. The time and the clock. Oh, dito medyo iba. Kasi if you click on the time here dito sa Windows 10, nalabas directly yung time and the date. Here on the Windows 11, there's actually this notification bars. I think there's something like news here or other type of notification. So I do have here the calendar but the time is not here. Not like here in the Windows 10, kahit yung segundo may kita mo. Dito, wala. It's just a calendar. So if you want to check on the time, nasa pinaka bottom naman talaga siya. All the notifications here in the Windows 11, you can actually click it here on the notification tab. And then the other feature here on the Windows 11 kasi dito sa Windows 10 iba yung battery iba yung Wi-Fi iba yung speaker dito lahat sila on the three icons may click mo na sila once na click mo yung tatlong yan lalabas na rin sila lahat dyan yung nandyan yung Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection battery saving brightness and speaker dito it's already in 3-in-1 however dito sa Windows 10 nakaseparate silang tatlo dito actually sa Windows 11 pwede mo na i-adjust yung brightness ng laptop mo dito hindi ka tulad dito sa Windows 10 na kailangan pa pumunta sa settings ng laptop mo para ma-adjust yung brightness and then dito sa Windows 11 there's this like pen icon here that you can actually add or edit your here I can add here a nightlight, hotspot, keyboard layout, projector, whatsoever. Parang pwede mo nang i-customize yung notification mo dito. Parang sa mga mobile phones natin, di ba? Pag ni-scroll down mo yung, di ba, nandun lahat yung notifications, wifi, whatsoever. Pwede mo i-customize yung kung ano yung gusto mong unahin, kung ano yung gusto mong tanggalin doon sa mga shortcut keys na yun. So, meron dito sa Windows 11. So, guys, most of you already have a Windows 10 laptop or nakaka-experience na kayo ng Windows 10. That's a quick comparison of the Windows 10 and the Windows 11. Now, we're gonna continue on focusing more on Windows 11 
because this is actually new to us. First of all, I notice here on the Windows 11, there's actually a choice here that you can put some multiple desktops. For example, here, marami ako naka-open an application dito sa desktop na to. Pwede ko siya actually palitan or pwede kong i-remove to a desktop 2 which is here. Um, pwede desktop 1, desktop 2. And then there's also here an application of the widgets. So katulad din ng Windows 10, meron din siya mga widgets. Pero just like on your mobile phone, so ito, once you click this icon, it will go to widgets. They actually have a chat button here. Microsoft has its own chat. And then the file explorer is also here at the bottom. Katulad ng Windows 10, meron din application. By the way, checking the difference between the file explorer of Windows 11 and Windows 10. Sa 10, may kita mo pa yung mga folders niya. And then there's an icon on it. While here on the Windows 11, yung mismong folder niya, iba-iba na itsura. Kasi sa Windows 11, color yellow lang yung folder. Eh. Dito, iba-iba color yung folders. Every time that you minimize or maximize ang Windows 11, it gives you more animation. May kita mo talaga yung pag-shrink, pati yung enlarge. Hindi ka tulad dito sa Windows 10, it's just that automatic na lalaki, automatic na liliit. And then, one thing about Windows 11, dito sa minimize, maximize, there's actually an option here if you want to put it on half or put it on a one-fourth screen or you can put it on in any options that you want. You just point your mouse cursor here, it could be a one-half, one-fourth, or any options. Hindi ka tulad dito sa Windows 10. Pwede gawin ito ng Windows 10, but you need to do it on through arrow keys. Hindi ka tulad dito sa Windows 11, choices na siya dun sa mouse cursor. Let's talk about the settings of this boat operating system. Dito sa Windows 10, medyo alam naman natin kung ano yung pero dito sa Windows 11 kasi, medyo may mga icons na siya dito ng colorful. Dito kasi sa Windows 10, parang it's just color white and black with the blue accent. Dito sa Windows 11, may kita mo talaga dito yung icon icon ng Wi-Fi, icon ng paintbrush of the personalization. There's an icon of a gaming an account. So, it's more friendly tingnan ang Windows 11. Now, on the lock screen, yung time and date niya nasa gitna, while here in the Windows 10, it's still on the bottom left corner. Alam niyo yung Windows 10, talagang gustong gusto niya sa bottom left corner. Eh. Itong Windows 11, laging nasa center. By the way, the difference on the search here in the Windows 11, dito sa Windows 10 kasi, meron pang parang box where you need to type it. And then there's the magnifying glass. While here on the Windows 11, nandito lang yung search niya. You click on it and then there's a window that will appear and then you're gonna type what you need. So basically, mas marami kinoconsume tong Windows 10 dun sa taskbar niya. Kaya ganun kahaba yung consume mo nito dahil din dito sa search bar ng Windows 10. However, dito sa Windows 11, hindi na nila sinama yung search bar. If you need to search something, you need to click on the magnifying glass. The Microsoft Store of Windows 11 is actually mas maganda, on my opinion, compared here to the Microsoft Store of Windows 10. So as you see, there's a difference. Ito, medyo lively yung Windows 11 na nagpapalit yung background screen every time. Not like here on the Windows 10, it's actually, ayan na siya. If you want to see some games or applications, you need to scroll it down. Hindi ka tulad din sa Windows 11, you just wait for it at pa iba iba yung mga applications na nag appear So guys, there you have it. First impression on the Windows 11 laptop. Now guys, I was just able to use this like 10 to 20 minutes that is why I don't see any bugs on it. If you're a customer that you're already using a Windows 11, please do comment down below your experience on Windows 11 because it will actually help the other customers that are planning to buy a laptop which is Windows 11 or planning to upgrade to Windows 11. Guys, kung tatanungin nyo ako kung gusto ko mag-upgrade to Windows 11 because currently I'm still on Windows 10, I would say yes. I want to explore Windows 11 kung ano mga magaganda sa kanya. And actually, I do see a lot of pros naman sa Windows 11 starting from the uh, start menu niya, yun sa mga some of the features. Ang ayoko lang dito sa Windows 11 is yun doon sa startup niya that it will really require you to connect you to a Wi-Fi in order for you to set it up. So, yun lang yung cons na nakikita ako dito sa Windows 11. However, the pros, I told you the difference about the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 laptop. Or maybe, naboboard na ako sa Windows 10. That's why I want to jump to uh, Windows 11. I want to see what's inside Windows 11 more. If I do have other information about Windows 11, I will comment down below on this video that I hope makatulong sa ibang customers. And probably, after 3 or 4 months, mag-reshoot ulit kami ng Windows 11. Yung pinaka-final say about Windows 11. Because this Windows 11, as I mentioned, it was just released October 5, just last month ago. So that is why possible na marami pang bugs, but we didn't encounter that. And gusto ko rin sila may encounter. That is why if I were you or ako talaga, gusto ko talaga mag-upgrade to Windows 11. Mapapansin nyo rin kasi pag bumili na rin kayo ng mga laptop, naka-Windows 11 na rin sila. Meron kami mga products dito na naka-Windows 11 na. Actually, medyo umuunti na kayo Windows 10 namin. Microsoft is really pushing on Windows 11 laptops na talaga. But at the end of the day, it's still your decision, guys. So this video is just awareness na what will happen if you upgrade to Windows 11. At least alam natin 
natin na hindi na masasabog yung laptop mo pag nag Windows 11 ka. So guys, if you're also interested in upgrading your laptop from Windows 10 to Windows 11, there's actually requirements on it. First of all, your Windows 10 should be up to date. Hindi siya yung medyo lumang Windows 10, but in order for you to up to date it, you just click on the Windows update. So konti-unti ma-update yung mga drivers, yung mga applications, and then there will be an option there that you're eligible to upgrade to Windows 11. Aside from that requirements, there's also a specification requirements on it. Your laptop should be at least 1 gigahertz, and then at least 4 gig memory, and at least 64 gig of storage. That's why on our previous video, we were telling you that not to buy this type of laptop, the low memory and the low storage, because it will be your dilemma on the future purposes. And one thing about Windows 11 is actually free. Kasi there are some applications in Windows na hindi ko sure kung tama. After a year or so, pag hindi ka nag-upgrade and you're still on Windows 10 and then you're planning to go to 11, possible na baka may mga bayad na. Grab it until it's free. Pero I'm not sure na baka maningil na sila in the future. So I'm hoping that they will not do that. So ayun guys, I already told you about my first impression about Windows 11 and as I mentioned, probably in after 4 months, we're gonna continue to reshoot about the Windows 11 OLED because this is just like 15 minutes or 20 minutes on our first impression. So guys, uulitin ko, if you're already running a Windows 11, please do share or comment down below para do sa mga nag-iisip na mag-upgrade or bumili ng Windows 11, at least aware sila sa binibili nila. Ano na lang, tulong-tulong guys. I share you my thoughts about Windows 11, you can actually share your thoughts to Windows 11. So after this video, we announced namin yung tatlong winner na wireless mouse and the wireless keyboard by Deluxe. Please stay tuned until the credits. And then guys, probably on their second or third video, we announced namin kung sino yung mananalo ng laptop. Kaya yung mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, yung 70% na hindi pa nakasubscribe, please subscribe. Baka kayo pa yung manalo. Diba? Aside from the laptop, on the 50,000 subscribers, magbibigay ulit kami ng laptop pagdating natin sa 100,000 subscribers. And in between, magbibigay din tayo ng giveaway. As inuulit ko kasi lahat na kinikita namin dito, ibabalik din namin sa inyo. Because this video is just for awareness para alam nyo kung anong laptop ang binibili nyo or kung safe ba ang Windows 11. So I think I said everything about it. Then again, please do like and subscribe to our page and click that notification bell. This is Dustin from Laptop Factory. Have a good day. Bye-bye. So ngayon, magbibigay tayo ng wireless mouse pati wireless keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.